After our day in Luxor, it was time to head up to Giza, but we decided to get there in a unique way, by overnight sleeper train. Unfortunately, we learned after we bought the tickets that Egypt's train system wasn't the safest and we were a bit nervous, but we were still hopeful to make the best of the experience. We're going to do something we never thought that we would be doing. We're going to be traveling in a business class on a train and we're excited about it. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's open, but no lounge. No lounge for us. Oh, well, 30 minutes waiting on this train track, I guess. Yeah. And it's not awkward. Everybody is looking at us. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a movie. It just feels so unreal being here. Everything is like so crazy, but so exciting to watch at the same time. So they say to arrive 30 minutes early for this sleeper train and I think we might be the only people here 30 minutes early. And there's no big board to like kind of show you when the train is expected to arrive. We're gonna wait and uh, hope for the best. We've been trying to figure out how to figure out our train and now we have uh, someone from the railway to help us find our cars. Yeah, thankfully we found someone that can help us. So we're gonna get on the train. <laughs> So our train has arrived and we have actually got into the right spot because we were in the complete opposite end of the train station. And we actually wound up meeting the general manager. And so thanks to you and your team for getting us into the right spot for this train. Yeah, we're so thankful. And the adventure begins. Let's get on this train. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. See you in Istanbul. All right, all the way to the end, we're going. This looks so cozy. This is our there room. There you go. Wow. Very nice. Very spacious. You check. can do this and this and this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I guess. I have no idea how this turns into a bed. I think it folds down. You think? You would think it folds down. And now I would like to give you a little tour of our room. There's not so much to show you actually here. So this is basically what you see is what you get. We have a bunk bed here. Probably I'm gonna be sleeping on the top one. I don't know if Steve is willing to do that. No, that's all you. Okay. Uh, so we have two seating area here and they were actually very quick and brought our dinners here already. I'm gonna be opening them soon, but I'm gonna continue the tour right now. Up there, we actually put our stuff already, some small items, not the big items. I have, I don't have a carry-on right now. I have a really big luggage. Steve is sitting on it right now, but I'm gonna get back to that. But here we have cute little lights. Turn it off, turn it on. Still don't know what this green thing is, but we both have on the sides this light here. I bought these little buttons. I have no idea how that works. I think only one's working is this one. And it's turning off the oh wait, uh, romantic light. Dark. Romantic back. I thought. Steve, do you wanna switch so I can show our bathroom? Yeah. This was the luggage that I was talking about by the way. Well, unfortunately we can't fit it in anywhere. So this is the little bathroom area without the toilet. We have our own sink where you can wash your hands and they have an unopened soap for which I'm very happy, happy actually and we have a shaving area for some reason if you want to shave yourself uh, gonna wash my hands soon and then we're gonna put on our sleeping pajamas and have dinner so let's check out what we have for the dinner we have chips I don't know what flavor this is and we have I believe halwa and we have is it orange juice no idea <laughs> we have juice and then we have orange because you know everybody wants to be healthy we have sandwiches i believe they are chicken sandwiches okay time for the official taste test on the overnight sleeper train <laughs> tastes like chicken then that's chicken it must be chicken but it's actually pretty good better than i was expecting for a train food i cannot complain about this Pretty good. Join me on a mission as I try to find the bathroom here. I think I found it. Okay, bathroom tour, because, well, what you see is what you get. It has a sink, soap, I suppose, paper towels, hand dryer, and a toilet that looks like it has pedal to flush it. 
Interesting. I imagine this is not the type of toilet you'd want to sit on, for sure. We do have toilet paper though, at least, so for Gokche, she'll be happy about that. Except for your quick bathroom tour, maybe Gokche will give you a go around later from her perspective. Made it back. How was it? Clean, has toilet paper, and it even has a kick pedal to flush. Kick pedal? Like you step it? Yeah, the first time I've ever seen anything like that in person. Is that, that you how step... the water comes in? Yep, and also how the sink works, fun enough. Okay, well, I wish you brought extra. Oops. So it seems like he put this little ladder out above our stuff. So Coop Che could get down. Yeah, I guess I have to share one of these pillows with you. Yeah, that'd be nice of you. Which pillow do you want? Steve is very picky when it comes to pillows. I like this guy. Okay, totally. <laughs> We're very tired because we walked around Moxer all day. We woke up at like 5, 5.30 a.m. So we have such a little energy. I am so willing to sleep. And we are arriving bright and early in Giza tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna get some rest. See you in the morning in Giza. Every time I try to sleep, it starts shaking again. In fact, it never stops shaking. It's like a constant turbulence here, actually. How are you? Uh, I just wanna sleep. Yeah. Uh, it's not that easy to sleep. Good night and go. Time to wake up. 45 minutes to Giza. We are about 45 minutes outside of Giza. They actually come and wake you up when your stop is getting close and serve you with a little breakfast box. But most importantly, they serve you coffee. It's just straight black coffee with sugar, which better than no coffee for sure, even though we love our milk and our coffee. Let's go see what's in this breakfast box and see how Gokche is doing waking up at this early morning time. I haven't started. I don't think I'm gonna eat, but they bought really nice stuff. Sandwich here, a croissant, a cake, jam. Feta cheese. By the way, feta cheese is very different here. It's like more creamy and like butter-like. But I don't think I'm gonna eat. Just coffee is enough. Of course, you remove the stairs. That's why I'm coming down like a monkey here. All right, we're gonna get ready, but we have such a small space here, so we have to be very efficient while packing. Okay, they took our luggages, and now we have about 15 to 20 minutes left. I just want to quickly mention about our night last night. It was a little bit too difficult to sleep. It was extremely shaky. It felt like we were on a constant turbulence at night. And the main problem why we were a little bit more uncomfortable was because of a train crash happened yesterday. We were very hesitant to take this train today, but we were told by people that it should be fine. We went with it. And overall, it's a very cool experience. We actually woke up to a new city. I think we're gonna be sleeping probably all day in our hotel room today. Shukran. Shukran. Bye bye. Bye bye. I guess we'll follow the crowd and go this way. All right, let's go. Exit it on the left. What's your name? What's Artis. your name? Artis. Artis. So we made it finally to our destination after that train ride. A little bit crazy getting out, but actually the rail station Thank passed you. us off to the tourism police, which was actually really nice of them. And they made sure to take down the identification of the driver that we were going with just in case anything happened. So felt really safe in the long run to get here to be at the foot of our next destination. So let's get checked into this hotel and I think we're gonna nap for a little while. And this place is beautiful. It's incredible. It's gonna feel so good after <laughs> a sleepless night on the sleeper block. Not so sleeper train. Can't sleeper <laughs> train. <laughs> it doesn't look real. <laughs> it looks like gigantic statues put over there. This is an entire big like a huge palace. This is so nice. <laughs> we are exhausted from the sleeper train, but we're here in our hotel room. We need to nap. So we are going to pick up and explore Giza and show you more of Egypt after this. So make sure to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and we will see you next time.
Skokie has Bob Marley. I got Bob Marley. Here. Woo. Oh, you're up already. Look at our camels. They actually like each other. Okay. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss Bob Marley. Kiss. Oh, oh. And they're making tea for us. Which one? Tea. Tea. Everybody wants tea. Yeah, look at tea.